You're watching my channel Spark Virtual Academy. Do not forget to subscribe and like my channel to get the latest updates about the new topics. And in today's uh, lecture, we are going to learn about the physics and we are going to start the chapter number six. In chapter number six, the first thing that we are going to learn today is about the parallel forces. Okay, as the name suggests, parallel means uh, the forces which never meet each other, okay? So, let's suppose this is a body, anybody. If the forces which are acting on this body are in this direction, or even if they are in this direction, so such type of the forces are known as the parallel forces. It means... If the forces which are acting, which are acting in parallel direction on a body, then such forces are known as the parallel forces. For, for example, if we are pushing a car, then we are pushing it from one side. And if my partner joins me just beside me then we both will push in the same direction so that is the parallel direction or even if i am pushing it from one side and the boy he is pushing it from the uh, other side so both the sides are opposite to each other like this one okay i am pushing the car from this side and he's pushing the car from this side so again this is the parallel uh, forces okay these are the parallel forces but if if the third boy he joins and he he starts to push this car from that side now that is not the parallel force because it is intersecting these uh, parallel forces okay so the direction of those forces should not intersect each other and such type of the forces are known as the parallel forces we have two types of the parallel forces one are the like parallel forces and the other one are the unlike parallel forces since the name suggests by their name the like parallel forces are those forces which are acting which act in same direction however unlike parallel forces are those for parallel forces which act in opposite direction It means if you just take this example if four people they are pushing uh, that car from this direction so they all are parallel to each other and they are like parallel to each other okay and these are the one two and three these are also the parallel forces and they are also parallel to uh, sorry like to each other because the direction is same but if you compare these both together now these four forces they are opposite to these three so we can say that they both are unlike parallel forces because their direction is opposite okay so there's just small difference between these two okay if me and my friend we both are pushing the car from one side from the back side of the car then they are the like parallel forces but if i am pushing the car from back side and my friend he is pushing the car uh, from the front so that will be the unlike parallel forces now let's describe uh, the resultant of these two forces. Okay, so uh, here we are just drawing the uh, resultant of a like parallel forces, okay? So let's suppose again the same figure here, if, if we are just supposing this is a simple body or we can say that this is a car or anything, you can just suppose it. Let's suppose one force which is acting in this direction on this body. Now this is F1 which is acting uh, in the upward direction in the anti-clockwise direction. And let's suppose there is another force which is also acting in the same direction that is the F2. So since both the forces they are acting in the same direction so the resultant of 
the like parallel forces it will be you know, I mean greater than the actual force okay so we can say then the resultant of the like parallel forces is always equal to the sum of the forces it's not necessary that only two forces are acting on a body there can be uh, the nth number of the forces the numerous number of the forces acting on a body in the same direction so then we will just combine those uh, forces together and we will get the resultant of the like parallel forces remember the resultant of the like parallel forces is always increased or we can say it is always uh, greater okay because both the forces are acting in the same direction i gave you an example of uh, pushing the car with my friend if me and my friend we both are pushing the car from the back side so uh, certainly we are two forces so the force the resultant force will be greater and the car will move faster okay if i only i move the car push the car from the back side i will you know means move it slowly but when my friend joins me and we both are pushing the car in the same direction certainly the resultant will be greater now let's talk about the unlike parallel forces the resultant of unlike parallel forces as i told you like parallel forces means the forces which are acting in the same same direction however unlike parallel forces means the forces which are acting in the opposite direction so let's take an example if you are just taking the example of the same car here and let's suppose if i am pushing the car from this side from the back side uh, let's say there is this direction okay and this is force one and let's suppose here another person he is pushing the car from this side and as you can see there the the direction of the force one and uh, force two they both are opposite to each other okay so they can be some other forces as well it's not a big deal okay but their directions are opposite so they both are the unlike parallel forces and their resultant will be equal to f1 plus how we can set it minus f2 now here as we know that in physics this minus this negative sign always shows the direction so as you can see there if f1 is positive then f2 is in the negative direction so that's why we just uh, put it into the negative and we will solve it f1 plus and minus that will be minus and f2 so the resultant of the unlike parallel forces is always equal uh, to the subtracting uh, those forces it means the forces which are in the same direction are always subtracted from the forces which are in the opposite direction so since we are subtracting the effect of the resultant force will be smaller than the actual one okay it means i just gave you an example of that car again if me i am pushing the car from the back side and my friend he is pushing the car from the front now here um, the resultant will be smaller certainly okay if i am stronger than my friend then i will push the car in, in in front but it will be slower okay however if he is stronger then he will stop the car and he will not allow it to move okay so we can say that the resultant of the unlike parallel forces is always uh, decreased or we can say the smaller okay so so that was all about the parallel forces like parallel forces and unlike parallel forces and about the uh, resultants as well if you have any question you can put your question into the comment box i will try to answer your questions till the next lecture allah bye bye